Welcome to the introduction CD meant for the learners of the certificate program in bioinformatics. We aim to warm you up to begin your journey into bioinformatics by giving you a bird's eye view of the discipline. Welcome and have a wonderful watch. Postgraduate certificate program in bioinformatics is offered jointly by the Indira Gandhi National Open University and the University of Kerala. This program admits students from various backgrounds, but however does not assume any specific prerequisite. This program consists of four courses. The first one basics of life sciences. The second course is applied mathematics and scientific computing. And then the main course is on essentials of bioinformatics. And the fourth and the last course is a bioinformatics laboratory course. The certificate for the successful candidates of this postgraduate certificate program in bioinformatics will be issued by the University of Kerala for candidates who register in centers under the jurisdiction of University of Kerala. For the rest of the candidates all over the country as well as outside the country the certificate will be issued by the Indira Gandhi National Open University. However, the learning material the methodology, the assessment procedure for all the candidates who undertake this program will be the same. ICNO, which is considered as the People's University, was established by an Act of Parliament in 1985. It has a flexible, open and distance learning model which holds no bar for age, place or pace. The foundation stone of ICNO was laid by late Sri Rajiv Gandhi the then Prime Minister of India. A learner can learn through any of the following instruction systems. Print material. Face-to-face -face counseling. Audio and video cassettes. Television broadcasting. Internet based delivery, radio broadcasting, teleconferencing, and practical training. One of the first 16 universities in India. The University of Kerala was founded as the University of Travancore in the erstwhile princely state of Travancore in 1937. University of Kerala has 16 faculties and 42 departments of teaching and research. The Centre for Bioinformatics, established in 2005 and upgraded as the Department of Computational Biology and Bioinformatics in 2011 is a new generation interdisciplinary as well as a multidisciplinary teaching and research department of University of Kerala. Presently, Indira Gandhi National Open University and University of Kerala are jointly offering a certificate course in bioinformatics. Many of us think that 
21st century is the century of information technology. But in fact, those who are in the forefront of research in science and technology think otherwise. They believe that 21st century is the century of biology, but not the same biology that we are used to, but a new sort of biology which is often called the new biology. Developments in biotechnology, a frontier of biology where rather than analyzing forms of life, people are talking about modifying and creating new forms of life. That seems to be the future of biology. It is in the context of new biology that bioinformatics comes into prominence. Like every other discipline, biology is organized at various levels of life. And at the level of molecules, at the level of cells, the study of biology becomes molecular biology. It is this level that has received increased attention during the recent times. To understand life at this level, use of information technology is essential and the implications of such an use create tremendous opportunities for bioinformatics. Every modern study research project based on molecules of life perhaps are inevitably tied to bioinformatics and this is applicable to many works that are being done in the field of biotechnology also. So, the opportunities of bioinformatics in the area of research and development in new biology are tremendous. A specific area that needs mention, special mention is that of design of drugs. This area which has got a tremendous industrial potential because designing and creating life saving drugs is of course both an important economic activity as well as an activity that humanity looks forward to. In this area, bioinformatics has come to help in advancing the speed of design and also making the predictions of drug molecules very precise. Both these areas create new avenues for career advancement as well as for job opportunities and also creation of new relevant knowledge in modern science. is bioinformatics? What are its various branches? What is its basic approach? These are some of the frequently asked questions about bioinformatics. Answer to these and a few related discussions pave way to the basic understanding of the nature and scope of bioinformatics. Let's move into a classroom. Let us now have an overview of the discipline of bioinformatics and then go on to have a flavor of some of the specific topics that we cover in this course. Life is perhaps one of the most curious complex phenomena that unfolds in this universe. It is not surprising that such a complex phenomena needs to be studied from various angles. As an example, I would like you to look at this piece of paper. 
if I ask what it is, there is more than one answer that you can give. You could say that this is paper, you could say this is cellulose, maybe someone would say that uh, marks that are applied here, that is carbon, somebody could say this is a rectangle, someone could say this is full of information. Well, studying life is more or less like this. The complex phenomenon of life can be studied from the viewpoint of biology, from the viewpoint of chemistry, from the viewpoint of physics or mathematics. And this is why we see a large number of disciplines like biochemistry, biophysics, biomathematics, biostatistics and so on. So, when life is studied from the viewpoint of information and applying information technology, then we call it bioinformatics. It may perhaps be pertinent to add that mostly bioinformatics is concerned about studying life at the level of molecules inside the cells. This is so because studying various levels of life from that of atoms to that of the biosphere might require very different kinds of application of computers and information technology. And a specific challenge comes at the level of analyzing molecules inside the cell. I would say that at center stage of the application of computers to biology are the three molecules, the DNA, the RNA and amino acid sequences which are called proteins. Today, modern biology has a way of capturing this information, data and information about these molecules and represent them in computer formats. The bioinformatician is required to analyze this data and attempt to answer queries about life that the biologist may have. So, so this in short is the core of bioinformatics. So, do you have any questions? Sir, what is the difference between bioinformatics and computational biology? In fact, these two terms are used very often interchangeably. They have something in common too. But if we look closely, we could say the difference is this, that bioinformatics is application of computers and related knowledge for the analysis of life, that is in to study biology. Whereas, computational biology looks at the techniques, algorithms and technology to do this. There is a shift in focus, whereas in bioinformatics the focus is on answering questions in biology. In computational biology, the focus is on how to produce those tools to answer these questions. It is possible that there could be sufficient overlap between bioinformatics and computational biology where some technical aspects of creating the tool as well as using the tools are handled by a single person. I could perhaps illustrate this with a simple analogy that regarding automobiles, for example cars, there are two kinds of knowledge. One is to use the car, that is for example to drive the car and reach your destination. And another is to make a car, this is designing its engine, designing its body, so, both are related to the car, but both look at two different aspects. The driver need not know to design an engine and the person who knows to design an engine need not be a great driver. So, similarly, bioinformatics is more application oriented. A person who is a bioinformatician needs to know how to use the tools and interpret the results to take forward the investigations in biology. Whereas, a computational biologist would need to know how to make such tools with which biologists can work. This is basically the contrast. Sir, uh, can we have our own genome uh, sequenced and analyzed using bioinformatics? It is possible today that the DNA of every single individual and of every single organism in this earth can be sequenced. It is believed that in another couple of years, the cost for sequencing would come down to thousand dollars, which would be an affordable amount. And once the sequence is available, 
it has to be analyzed to make use of it. For example, to predict uh, diseases, to predict the effect of drugs on people and so many other things. And once the sequence is available, then the role is even though the sequence is thousand dollars, the analysis is million dollars. That is where bioinformatics comes in. We will have to use a large number of software tools to analyze, understand and also sometimes redesign life for useful purposes. So, it is possible that we would soon see a future where the sequence of every single individual is made available and bioinformatics is required to analyze it. So, what is the difference between biometry and bioinformatics? Biometry is a word that most of us are very familiar with today. Some people mix it up with bioinformatics. But mostly they do not have anything to do with each other. Biometry deals with measuring some of the features of the human being for the purpose of identifying the person. Whereas, bioinformatics as we have already seen is the application of computers to understand life at molecular level. However, it must not be forgotten that the DNA itself could become the ultimate source of biometry. Each of us can be identified uniquely by our DNA. But today, biometry operates by looking at body level information. For example, fingerprints, iris, geometry of the hand and the face. So, as of now, these are two different disciplines. The high point of this certificate program is learning a choice of software tools that are used in modern bioinformatics. We will try to get a flavor of each of them to prepare you for the formal learning. In addition to giving you some background knowledge that enables you to practice bioinformatics, the highlight of the certificate program is to expose you to a handful of bioinformatics software tools that are used to analyze biomolecular sequences. We will now move to the laboratory to have a flavor of selected bioinformatics tools. Bioinformatics is a major source of tool which helps the modern biologist to come to a quick and cost effective preliminary hypothesis. The vast array of tools offered by bioinformatics forms the central contribution of the discipline. Let's get a quick taste of some of these popular tools. Let's move into a laboratory. BLAST is a very important software tool that bioinformatics has contributed to new biology. It is almost like the Google of biology. Today, any modern biologist who deals with DNA, RNA and amino acid sequences first approach BLAST to verify what the sequence in their hand is. Let us see an example of an amino acid sequence which represents a protein called keratin which is well known to be the structural protein in our hair nails and skin. We see on the screen the sequence for keratin protein. To understand what keratin is and what it does and how other living beings, this particular keratin is from human, how keratin in other living beings are related to this, we can use BLAST. BLAST is available on the internet as a separate website and we can 
approach this website to study about the keratin protein that we have. Let us now see how our keratin protein can be analyzed using BLAST. Ranganayagi will show us how the steps are taken. Go to the BLAST homepage. In the given text areas, insert the keratin sequence you need to BLAST. You can copy, paste or browse the sequence from your desktop in FASTA format. Click the button BLAST to run the program. The result page will take few seconds to get loaded. Once the page is loaded, the results will be presented as three sections such as graphical display, a descriptive table and an alignment section. The graphical display of BLAST result will be displayed on the top of the result page. Level of similarities are represented using colored bars. Within the bordered graph, the top segment displays the color key and the query base scale. The position of each bar indicates the region of the query the high scoring pair covers. The next table gives additional details such as e-value, query coverage, maximum score, maximum identity and link out icons. The actual alignment is displayed here. The alignment header has the following fields such as score, expect, identities, etc. Here we could see the alignment of query protein with homologous protein in the database. The first hit will be the same as of query protein. Next to Homo sapiens, we got the hit from Calithrix jackus, common marmoset, a small monkey with an identity of 95%. Next hit is obtained from Pantroglodytes, a chimpanzee which is the closest ancestor to human with an identity of 98%. Following chimpanzee, Nomarchus leucogenes, a north white-cheeked gibbon, got an identity of 97%. While BLAST compares two sequences at a time, it is very often required that we compare a set of sequences together. Such a comparison is known as multiple sequence alignment. This is a computationally complex problem for which some practical feasible solutions are available through bioinformatics. Clustal is a tool used widely for multiple sequence alignment. We will now see how the protein keratin which we saw in demonstrating BLAST also being used in cluster. We select three types of keratins, one from the human and two from the family of chimpanzees. We collect these sequences from databases on the internet and then give it to the cluster server which will show us an alignment of all of them. From this alignment we can see that these sequences are almost 95 percent similar across different organisms and also we can see where they are exactly the same and where changes which are now known to have happened due to mutation are taking place. Let us see Ranganayagi's demonstration of cluster. In this example, we had chosen keratin protein from four different organisms such as Homo sapiens, Calithrix jackus, Pantroglodytes, and Nomascus leucogenes. The different output formats such as Philip, GCG, MSF, Pearson or FASTA are included. Click the submit button to run the program. It just takes a very few seconds to load the results. The result page contains alignments, result summary, guide tree and submission details. The alignments can be colored using the option show color. This option colors the residue according to their physiochemical properties. Red color indicates the small, hydrophobic amino acids. Blue indicates acidic and magenta indicates basic amino acids. Also, these alignments can be downloaded as a separate file using the option download alignment file for further use. One of the very established activities of a traditional biologist is to categorize and name all forms of living beings 
that she comes across. A computational method for very objectively comparing organisms is today based on their DNA or amino acid sequences. Once a set of sequences are given, they can be aligned in the method which we have already seen called multiple sequence alignment and then based on the alignment and some measurements which are made on the alignment, we can create a tree of the given organisms. Many biological observations are done based on such trees including deciding drugs for new emerging viruses. Let us see how given a set of sequences a phylogenetic tree can be drawn using a software called MEGA. We will now demonstrate how given a set of amino acid sequences from a choice of organisms we can produce a phylogenetic tree. We will select a human being, a chimpanzee, a monkey, a donkey and a fish. Vidya will now show us how the software MEGA is used to produce such a phylogenetic tree. Open MEGA tool by double clicking on the MEGA tool icon. From the main MEGA launch bar, select phylogeny, construct or test neighbor joining tree menu option. A select window will appear on the screen. Now you need to load the alignment file, locate your alignment file and click open. Now select a genetic code from the list and then click OK. Once you have selected, click Compute button. Now you shall see the neighbor joining tree in the Tree Explorer window. While most of bioinformatics is centered around DNA, RNA and amino acid sequences which are as we have seen captured as simple text files which can be opened in software such as Notepad. However, there also exists an area where the data that is captured on a computer is an image not a text data. These arise from a modern biology experiment known as microarrays where the expression of a large number of genes in an organism are captured together in an experiment. And this experiment produces a digital image and by using softwares that exploit the principles of digital image processing, we can derive conclusions and we can make measurements about which genes are active in a particular situation, which genes are actually active along with or in parallel with some other genes which genes seem to be switched on while some other genes are switched off. All of this can be analyzed using bioinformatics softwares. We will now take a look at some of the microarray images and its analysis data. Ashwadi will show us some of these images. Open magic tool main window. From the project menu, choose new project. Locate the folder in which you want to save your project. Type a name for the project. Magic tool will automatically create a folder with this name and a project file in the directory. Gridding and clustering can effectively be done using magic. Biologists who wish to study structures of molecules very often had to rely on physical models for each of the molecule of their interest. Today bioinformatics tools such as RASMOL and PIMOL offer a very attractive alternative to physical models. The structure of molecules are today recorded 
as data files and this can be viewed conveniently in three dimensional graphics in softwares such as Pymore. We can by a click of a mouse change the type of the models. We can make measurements of distances between atoms or angle between a given set of atoms and make such modifications that the biologist might require for the study of the molecular structure. These free softwares are very easy to use and very popular in study of biological molecules and we will see one such software Pymol which Rajesh will explain to us. First open Pymol viewer from the start menu. Then from the file menu select open a selection window will appear on the screen. Locate the protein and open the file. From the object list top right of window you can select individual display modes. This can be selected using the S for show, H for hide, L for label and C for color buttons. From the click S button to choose cartoon display option. Then click H button to hide lines in the protein structure. From the wizard window, top of medium window, select measurement option to find the distance and then click two points on the protein molecule to find the distance between those two points. Then from the object list, top right of big window, click S for show and select surface display option. Select ligand, click S button for show and select surface option to display the ligand. To change the color of the ligand, click C for color change from the object list and then click red. Computers do not speak human language nor do they understand human language and hence it is required for us to give computers instructions to cater to their specific need. For bioinformatics, specialized programming languages this happens to be two languages, one which is called Perl and the other called pipe. In our certificate program, we teach the programming language Perl. It is not a new language and the speciality of the language is that it can process text very efficiently. As you must have observed, bioinformatics is centered around processing DNA, RNA and amino acid sequences, all of which can be expressed as text. We will see a very small Perl program which analyzes a DNA sequence and gives us a count of what kind of molecules are contained in this particular sequence. Umesh will show us this small program in Perl language, how it is written and how it is run and how the result is obtained. The Perl program is for extracting the DNA sequence from the FASTA file. Here, example.fasta file is used as a reference FASTA file from which DNA sequence is extracted. Example.pl file is generated to perform the operation. Skylab is an open source scientific software package for numerical computations, providing a powerful opening computing environment for engineering and scientific applications. Skylab can be used to plot any function or values in graphical form. Here you can see that a set of values is plotted as a sine waving using Skylab. Apart from values, we may also use Skylab for image processing. Here we use an inbuilt module in Skylab to open and display the image of an actress in Skylab. Now the image can be further processed using other inbuilt functions available in Skylab. Well, by now, we hope that you are ready to start your journey into bioinformatics with a clear bird's eye view. Wish you a successful program.